Hi guys, Maggie Make It Go here with another craft for you. Today I'm going to be making Daphne Blake's scarf from Scooby-Doo. It's for a costume obviously, but you can make this for any other outfit or costume that you need. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and craft videos. Let's get into it. I've got a one meter by one meter piece of linen. Uh, it's actually for quilting, but it's the right color for what I needed to do. I've got some thread, a tape measure, and an iron. The first thing I'm going to do is iron the fabric so there's no creases. Once the fabric is ironed, you want to put the pattern down and cut it. So there's actually a right side and a wrong side to the fabric. A lot of fabric these days you can actually just choose which side you like as long as you're consistent. You can tell by looking at these little holes on the selvage. So on the wrong side they should be raised slightly and on the right side they are flat or they indent into the fabric. To cut something on the bias means that you've cut it diagonally from the selvage. So if the selvage is running, say for example, where that pencil is, the lines that I've drawn on the fabric means that it's going to be cut on the bias. It usually sits better. Um, I just did it this way, I guess, because I could. I had a lot of trial and error to try and figure out the pattern that I wanted to use, but I ended up with something like this. So I used a, um, I did a double layer of that linen. I just folded it in half diagonally. Now I couldn't find any pins, so I've used paper clips. They don't work, they don't work just as well, but they are a good substitute if you cannot find any pins. So the measurements are 54 inches long, that's tip to tip, end to end, 6 inches wide, and then the triangles at either end were 3 inches from the tip down to the perpendicular line, as per my diagram. So I was actually making this for Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo, it's for a costume. Um, so I did need to try it on and see where it was going to fall and if it was the length that I wanted to have. Um, again, I would advise doing this before you make those cuts. So I'm happy with this length, so I can now go and transfer some of that thread onto the bobbin. And I would always advise to test your sewing on a spare piece of fabric, the same fabric that you're using to make whatever it is you're making, but make sure that you've got all the tension settings and everything is how you want it to be before you actually start sewing the item. Now using those paper clips as a guide, I sewed a straight stitch all the way around and I zigzagged the edge. I did leave about a two or three inch gap in the middle of the scarf and I used that gap to then turn the whole scarf in the right way. Um, as you can see from this photo, there was a gap left over. I didn't make the same mistake that I have made previously, which was to super glue this closed. Um, I actually just chucked it back on the sewing machine and sewed it as close as I could to the edge of the fabric. Here is the final product. It doesn't sit exactly the same as Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo, her scarf does, but it's pretty close and I'm really happy with it and it will do for what I need it for. If you want to check out my other videos, please do so. Please subscribe to our channel. We make videos on crafting, home DIY, and just general advice videos. If there's anything you would like me to film, please let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.